we're here with Brett Kissel. Tell us, first off, you're a Canadian-based yes. artist at first. How does it feel making the transitions, trying to break into the American country music market? Well, I think it feels really good. I mean, granted, you know, I'm a proud Canadian from back home, but I think anybody who leaves their home state or their home territory to try and make it in the big city of Nashville, we all have that special thing in common. So some of our great friends are from Texas or from Alabama. So I think it's really special that we all get to hang out here and migrate to Music City to try and make it in the business. I'm the one of the biggest Man in Black fans and when uh, June Carter passed away in May of 2003 I was 12 years old and I wrote Johnny a letter, uh, a condolence letter and um, I sent it to his fan club address in Hendersonville, Tennessee. A few months go by I forgot all about it and uh, on the day I was releasing my very first album, this uh, classic country project, um, yeah sure enough in the mail comes a, uh, a signed 8x10 from Johnny Cash. It says, to Brett, Jesus first, Johnny Cash. And that was very special. I actually got that on Friday, September the 12th, 2003, the day that he passed away. So it's yeah, a very special moment. Fans do not get to have that kind of connection with their favorite artists, especially a legend like Johnny. So tell us, are you excited to be a part of the CMA festivities this week? Oh, absolutely. I mean, this is my very first time really being involved in the CMA, like you said, activity. So for Craig to give me the invitation to come out and be a part of this and, you know, have a little fun, drink some beers and, and uh, play some cornhole, I'm pretty jacked up about it. So I'm very happy you invited me. All right, thank you so much, Brett. Thank you. Good to meet you.